Fire signs, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, fire signs. Let's do your reading for the week. The fire signs need to know, please, universe. Okay, so we got the fire signs. If you want to watch extended videos, go to my website, gentvtarot.com, and you can purchase individual. videos. I'm closing my Patreon and my memberships down. I'm just doing it from my website now. All right. Aries. Just writing down the timestamp. Aries, what do you need to know? Leo, what do you need to know? Sagittarius, what do you need to know? What don't you know right now, Aries? What don't you know right now, Leo? What can you do about it? What can you do about it? Yeah. And your outcome. the deck for you guys. Hmm. Nine of Cups in reverse. All right, Aries. So your overall vibe here is Three of Cups in reverse. This can be about, well, you're not the only person in this connection. It's a, a kind of threes a crowd sort of situation going on there. Um, what you don't know, though, is the four of wands. I, I sort of feel like this is a situation that you're sort of trying to get yourself into, but I think you're the only person who's going to end up being unhappy in the end. This person, whoever they're with, I think they're with someone. They're okay. They're good. This is suggesting what you do about it. Swords are about taking action. Look at this knight. He's sort of looking at that tower burn and going, you know what? That's not my, <laughs> that's, that's not my fire to put out. I'm just gonna sling my sword over my shoulder and go the other way. It's, it's not my tower. Your outcome, I just sort of think something new is coming your way. You don't need to think about this. This is learning new things. I, I, I sort of feel like perhaps, you know, yeah, something new's coming your way, but also like, what have you learned from this little mistake? This wasn't for you. And you can kind of see now what isn't for you, right? What you really don't want. 
sometimes you know what you don't want you just kind of have to see it right there in your face to go oh that yeah no i really don't want that at all do i really don't let's pull you a broomstone Got the cheat sheet here for the runes because I'm still learning them. Potential, freedom, conclusion, consequence. I think there's always sort of, if you're getting into a relationship where they're already with somebody, think about that as consequences and karma. You don't need that jazz going on. So this is perhaps something you don't need to chase. You see the potential in it. This is somebody that you like to be with. You're attracted to them. You like them. But everything here is suggesting that the best thing for you is to move forwards, meet somebody new, learn from this mistake, and get the hell out of Dodge. It's not for you, my loves. Leo. All right, Leo, your overall vibe is ah, eight of swords in reverse. <clears throat> Interesting. I, I feel like finally you're getting the courage and the fortitude perhaps, the energy, the strength to um, walk away from something that's been so very painful for you. And I sort of feel like perhaps you don't even really know that you're healing from this and you're getting over it and you're getting past it. What can you do to help yourself in this situation? I sort of feel like starting to see the person who did you wrong as what they really are, which I sort of feel like you're already there. You're already freeing yourself from this situation. You're already on your path to healing. Try to not see the good in this person, <laughs> like, really. Try to not see the good in this person. See them for what they are. See them for what they did to you. At you. I don't think, personally, a lot of people can really do stuff at you. It's I, I don't think when somebody cheats on you or hurts you, it's not like purposefully done at you. It's just like it's it's something that's going on within them and they they're not even really thinking about you at the time. You're just sort of in the crossfire. Just remember what this person's done. I feel like there's some sort of shame in this. Like it made you feel ashamed of yourself somehow. And um you remember that that shame is on them, not you. That's nothing to do with you. That's not your burden to carry. You're healing. You're getting away from this. You're walking away and you're you're doing good. Your outcome is the six of cups. It's it's sort of seeing that, you know, the world has something to offer you now. You're not sort of st stuck in this prison of your own making. You're you're freeing yourself. The world has something to offer you now and, and uh, something good. And I think because you've probably been in a very bad place in the past, you can appreciate the good for what it really is. I'm going to pull you a rune stone. What's this one? I'm uh, still learning it. Wealth, fulfillment, power, material gain, greed, fulfillment, power. Power is actually the one that sort of stood out mostly here for me with you. Like you're regaining your power, you're stepping back into your power. And with that, you can find fulfillment. So 
I'll take this into the extended for you for a fuller reading. Moving on to Sagittarius. All right, Sag. All right. This is a tough one for you, Sag. You're going through a print of the Nine of the Swords moment. Um, this is... Uh, your mind's in chaos. It's it's just torture, what you're going through. It, it's It's not a great place to be. You feel like like your hands are tied there's nothing you can do you're you're in the worst place of your life um, this card's like this is about the placement of this card is what you don't know and well the, the devil you see that sound that's my cat on the kitchen side he's very naughty he knows he's not allowed up there <clears throat> so what you don't know is I just sort of feel like if you you feel like your hands are tied there's nothing you can do but if you stay in this situation it's only going to get worse what can you do about it let's add something else to this because this is a pretty negative negative reading for you I want to sort of get more on what can you do about it so what you can you do is we've got judgment in reverse I'm not sort of hearing any advice here it is this is the end of a cycle. What can you do about it is end it. And it's sort of suggesting that you kind of going to have to because more is coming up if you don't. It's like whoever this person is, they haven't really dealt you the full force of their uh, toxic behavior yet and that's coming it sort of feels like there's more to come from this person the king of swords here they're uh, I don't have anything good to say about them I'm like yeah I could you know mess around with words semantics but I, I just feel like the only thing that you can do is end this and walk away from it because this person's just gonna keep dealing you dodgy blows I sort of feel like you need to know more you're a little bit in the dark about what's really going on here and it just keeps getting worse and worse you need to know more what's going on. Tell me more about the outcome. I'll do a, a full reading here in the extended. Yee. There's a darkness in this person the hole that they're trying to fill. Maybe you do need to take that in the uh, innuendo sort of way. It's, this reminds me of a situation in my life that I had no idea about. And I, I do feel like, for me, it just kept getting worse and worse. And I, I, I just kept my blinkers on. I was like, I can't, I don't want to see it. I, I just want to believe that this is a good person. And they end up being a terrible person, really, truly terrible person. And uh, I 
to this day wish I didn't know their full extent of how terrible they were. That's my dry I'm saying it's dry. I sort of feel like what's coming up, I see with the High Priestess in reverse there, you are going to see more and more of how terrible this person is too. And uh, what it's saying here basically is to end the situation. It's the best thing that you can do is cut this person out. You feel like there's nothing you can do. Your hands are tied. You have to stay there. But I think the more information you get, the easier it's going to be to leave this person. There's, there's a real darkness. Sorry to say, Sag. I'm going to take it into the extended uh, for this. But let me pull you a runestone. Oh, it's horrible noise. I need to get a nicer bowl. Jesus. Um, here's my uh, cheat sheet. Interesting. I don't know which, I, I sort of feel like attitude, radical change comes with this. So it's time for you to have like a huge change. And that means walking away from this. It doesn't have to be a romantic reading. It's just somebody in your life is dark as hell and you're just going to keep finding out how dark it can be and it's just going to get worse and worse. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the extended. Bye.